All right, welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome back to another tips, tricks, and how to video on Myth of Empire. And in this video, we're going to go over on um, how to build a tower to hunt rhinos. Now, we're going to basically use the same kind of concept we have here, but instead of the circle, like we do with the boars to trap them in so they run around in circles and kill themselves. Uh, rhinos act a little different. They actually run in and they do a charge action. So they charge, hit, and kind of run out and come back and charge again. So you can't really get them trapped in the circle because it's hard for them to kind of go and get lured into here because they just come from all different directions. So the best way to do it is to kind of reconfigure the trap and the same concept, but you know, add in the wings and different placements on the barricade. So when they do run into them, they kind of get stuck. And then they start stabbing themselves as they're trying to run away and then they come back so a little a little bit more to the tower itself but not much more still easy to make on the fly and get it going and allow you to come hunt some uh, rhinos so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get everything together and uh jump in here and show you how to build something like that All right, here we go. So like I said, we're going to pretty much use the same concept here. What we got to do is come over here to a rhino location. And there is a location not too far from where I am right now, which is right over here. So we're going to travel over there and then set up a little hunt hunting camp over there so we can start hunting rhino. All right, welcome back here. Cool. So now that we have the location where we want to set up our little... Uh, hunting grounds we want to pick a nice central location within the uh, zoned of the rhinos here so we can see we're right in the good area for it and there's typically between two or three rhinos there's one right there and then there's probably two more somewhere around here but there's about two or three you just got to go find them but right now we can see there's the one so i think right here we good spot so we're going to do pretty much like we did before we put the um the foundation down and then just do the stairs. This is all going to be the same as before. And then from this point, this is where it's going to be a little different. So the rhinos tend to come in and they will run in and charge and then kind of turn around and run back out. So we don't really want them to kind of go completely under here. So we want them to kind of stay out a little bit. So what we're going to do is use this platform right here as our guide. And we want to kind of try to line it up here as much as we can so we can kind of place it right on the edge here with it and then something like that now we can kind of see it's sitting right on the edge because the the rhinos they will not like commit all the way through they typically will run out and then run in so from here we want to build a another one like kind of like a wing just like before so we're gonna put one there to get a little closer to that one there so we'll put there and then we can put another one kind of like right here there we go and then the same thing on this side as well so we put that one there and then we put another one kind of like there and what we're trying to do here is kind of create a pocket in, on the right and left side. So when the rhino comes and charges in, the idea is for the rhino to come into here and then charge and then it will want to turn around. And then as it's turning around, since it's so big, it's going to hit all these spikes and then go back out and it's going to run and come back in and then charge again here. So now we're going to have to do the same setup all the way around. That should be pretty good on this side, so I'll go ahead and do the other sides, and once that, that is done, I'll show you the setup there, and then we will put it to the test. All right, here we go. This setup is done. Now, this is going to take you about 15, yeah, I think 15 barricades, and you just kind of set it up as you go, as you did on that side. Now, here's going to be a little different. We want to kind of close this off as much as we can. Uh, you probably could close it a little bit more here, and then kind of turn these around but I kind of open left this one open a little bit so if it does come in here it can then stab itself trying to run out but the idea is they will run up here and charge towards you so you don't want them to get up there so kind of block your entrance there to prevent them from doing that 
or we'll create something like that where they can get stuck in there too but you can kind of see now that everything here kind of has a little pocket where they'll try to run into but yet get stuck they should be pretty good there's pocket there pocket there so you're just trying to get them to stuck because they're big they're big and bulky and it takes a lot for them to uh, turn around so now all there is to do is put it to the test and now we have to find our rhino wherever he went all right you can kind of see there's a rhino there he's swimming in the water right now um so these uh, rhinos they do typically roam they have a huge area to roam so there's one there and there should be another one or two somewhere back in these woods so what i'm going to try to do is bait this one over here and they uh, should be able to be fine because they are slow. So uh, as I shoot him, now we're just going to start heading towards the uh, tower and keep an eye on him. He should be coming towards us. There he, he's coming. He's just big, so he should be coming his way. Now they are like the boars, so they will break aggro every so often. So you're just going to have to keep kind of poking them until they decide they want to come over here. They're not that big of a threat. They do do some damage, but they're slow, and you can kind of outrun them. So they're just not like the boars where they'll run in quick. So you just kind of have to lure them in as so. Just keep poking them away, and he should be coming now. Here he comes. And then now we just got to run back. We should be fine. Yep. Hey. Oh, there we go. Now he's in. So basically, now you can see he has a lot of health. See, that's the point. So he'll run up there, stab on all those, and then he's just going to keep going. See, so he, and he's going to kind of turn around. And unlike the boars, you know, they'll keep aggroing every so often, but you just got to pop them, keep them aggroed. And you can see it's taking a good chunk of them down. So it'll end up taking itself down, and then just kind of move around and wiggle it yourself around here, and he'll end up stabbing himself to death just kind of like how the uh boars so we'll just go ahead and let him kind of do his thing there you can kind of see that's the idea you want him to get stuck there but he is not moving we can just keep shooting arrows at him move around to kind of get him to move on his own he'll kind of come towards us there he comes again so if he does get stuck that's the idea but just move around your little area and he'll kind of unstuck himself but stabbing himself in the process Now this will take a little longer because they do have more health but we'll go ahead and work him down and start you know get this one killed and we'll harvest them also i recommend that if you can you can come out here and just stab him one time with your sword You'll get a little XP for that too. I just got 100 XP for stat hitting him once plus my bow. So there we go. And now he is done. So now we can go ahead and harvest him. And we're going to get a couple ra uh, rare resources off him, mainly in hide. But they're good for fat. So if you're looking for a lot of fat, that's where the rhinos will come in play. But they also give you rare hide and fine hide as well. So, And they're a good source of fat. Not so much on meat. You know, they don't give you a lot of meat. Boars are still good for... Uh, meat but if you're looking to get into you know rare quality higher quality leather and this is where you start with the rhinos and it's a pretty simple process takes a little a little bit more um time than it is with boars because boars will just aggro more and more boars as you hit them rhinos they typically run around slower now again there's going to be two more back here in these woods somewhere i would just have to hop on uh, my horse there and track them down and lure them back over here and then you know let them work themselves down with the traps here and then harvest them up we can go ahead and take a look at what we have what we received i received eight rare hide seven flawless ten fat seven fine hide nine coarse hide and probably maybe one or two three pieces of meat in there you do get some meat but not a lot but you can see you get a lot of leather here so killing three of those will get a nice, you know, good amount of fine and rare hide and stuff like that. And fine. So it's a good source of that. And also we had 10 fat off of one. So we killed three of these things. We're going to get a nice good chunk of rare resources to bring back to our base. And seeing that it's not too far from my uh, camp right now, we can just make this run pretty simple. 
All right, so that is that. So here you, you can see the setup for the tower as it sits now to help kill some rhinos. So it's pretty much the same concept, but just need a little bit more barricades. So just set those up, and this will allow you to kind of get more rare hide, fine hide, and all the you know higher end resources that you need. It's also a good way to level up your one-handed and two-handed weapon proficiencies and your bow proficiency as well because you know the rhinos do give a good amount of xp when you do kill them they give about a hundred so if you had your expertise points in those particular proficiency categories and you can get even more points off of them so it's a good way of farming you know some rare resources and xp on top of that so the only thing is there are only three out here and they will have to be found out there somewhere so i'll have to lure them in I hope that helps. So just let me know, you know, if it did help, you know, always liking the video will let me know. And if you have any questions or any suggestions or anything, you just leave me a comment. I do go through those and I will get back to you. So that's going to be it for this video. Until next time, please keep an eye out for more tips, tricks, and how-to videos on Myth of Empires and other games I will be playing. If you want to hang out with me live, I do play live on Mondays and Wednesdays at 7.30 Central Standard Time. Those are the times I have so far, but you kind of just hang out with me and enjoy this game while I'm playing it. And, you know, kind of if you have any questions, you can always ask me there or just hang out either or. So, yeah, till next time, I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.